Well, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the Autoblog YouTube channel. In today's upload, we got an exciting one here because we got an interior modification that we're uh, going to be doing. And that is, we're going to be replacing the standard infotainment screen or infotainment system from Mercedes-Benz on my 2012 C63 AMG. So we're going to be going from, I think it's like a six inch screen to this awesome 10 and a half inch Android screen. So we're going to do the full process and install this instead of that. Now the last interior mod that we did was this awesome uh, steering wheel and I got this from CKM Car Design and that's the same company that I uh, bought this screen from so uh, huge thanks to them. So with no further ado we're just going to start the install process here and uh, yeah I'm doing this myself. If you guys follow my channel you know I'm not that much of a yeah we got some hound dogs. I'm not that much of a uh, DIY installer myself here, but I've been told that this is fairly uh, plug-and-play and straightforward So uh, I'm gonna do it. So if I can do it anyone can do it now the whole kit comes with uh, full instructions And what we're gonna start uh, with doing is removing this panel here. We're gonna start on the passenger side All right, so we have the right side of the trim piece loosened here to remove the actual vents you gotta use this pick tool. So this is 90 degree and you gotta stick it in there and it's held together by, by latches. So you gotta get it in there properly and then you kind of release the latch and then you can remove the whole trim piece and the actual vents. So after some finagling, I finally uh, got, got them out. And this one's little, yeah, they still work. <laughs> so we're just gonna put the trim piece and the air vents here to the side and keep on going. So the next step is to remove this plastic trim up top here and also down here. First, we gotta remove these little decorative pieces here. They look like speakers, but they're not. Uh, this one. So as soon as I get this trim piece here and uh, down here as well for the whole instrument cluster, uh, we're gonna loosen these two screws right there. So I'm just using my little uh, plastic pry tool here and all the tools that I'm using for this video, I'll link them in the description for anyone that is interested. That's the bottom one. Probably a little rougher than I should have done, but whatever. And here's the top one. All right, so let's remove these two T20 screws. A lot of torque bit screws in this car, I've noticed. All right, so now we're gonna remove this whole part right here. That's one piece with the screen and then uh, the gauge cluster. Try to do it as carefully as possible. There we go. And then we got two connectors right here. So we're gonna remove those. This one's a little slippery bastard. There we go. All right, so the gauge cluster here, minus the screen, will be reinstalled later on. So we're just gonna go put this to the side for now. It's time grab all the new harnesses as well. All right, so the next step is these torque screws right here. We got one on each side. We gotta loosen those so we can remove the radio. All right, so now that the screws are out, just gotta put our screwdriver down there. That'll release the radio, get that out. Okay, so we got a million cables uh, back here, so we're gonna remove this orange one and then this big black One and then we're gonna set the radio aside. It's not a lot of slack with these cables here So it's a little tough. All right, so we got the fiber optic cable unplugged and the big black plug as well All right, so now we're gonna use the new uh, harness that we got with the screen and we're gonna take this female end and just plug it into This plug that we just unplugged Like 
that. And then we'll take the male end and plug it back into our radio. Lock it in there. Now the other end of the harness, we're gonna pull through like this. All right, so we have reconnected the blue wire that was hanging out here with, uh, I, I don't even know what these are called to be honest with you, I'm not very technical. I <laughs> plugged them in there and just kind of like stick them back in there. All three of these connectors will go into the new Android screen. But this is a Wi-Fi antenna. So what we're gonna do is just remove that, stick it in here let that cord hang for a little bit and everything is connected in the back here again and I'm just gonna slowly stick this in dinner's ready I'll be right back well good morning guys we're back I got caught up with dinner and a bunch of other stuff so this is the day after and I've just removed the panels here around the, the gear lever and then also the cup holders and I'm doing this to be able to uh, install this auxiliary cord correctly and be able to hide the cord. I can't believe that I've taken half uh, the interior of my car apart by myself. <laughs> but hey, we're gonna do this, man. I'm excited to have this new screen installed. It's gonna be absolutely awesome. So, change of plans. I'm learning as I go here. I'm not gonna be removing the whole center console. Um, I'm going to be putting all these little panels back together because you basically have to remove this whole center console uh, to be able to drag that wire properly. And I just feel like it's way too much work just for one wire. So what I did was remove three screws here underneath the glove department box and I'll pull the wire through there and then hide it under this panel here, which uh, it'll do just fine. And there it is. All right, so the last cable that I pulled through uh, and kind of underneath the glove department box here is the USB cable. And the only reason I'll really need this, if I ever do, is for software updates and stuff. So, I mean, I'll, I'll tighter it up a little better than that, but I'm sure there's a, a lot better ways of doing this and doing it maybe a little cleaner when it comes to pull, you know, pulling all the cables and the wires and stuff, but I'm fine with it the way it is now. So the only thing left to do is put everything back together and then start up the new screen. So the trickiest part with this whole install is when you're putting the radio unit back in because now behind the radio unit you have to tuck and hide a lot more cables that come with the new screen. So that's something I've been messing around with here for over an hour. So <laughs> I got the first uh, T20 screw back in there though. We only have this side left and thank God. We're almost there, we're almost there. As you guys can see here, I've had everything plugged in to the screen already just to make sure that everything works before we button everything up. So now I'm actually going to unplug everything again, move this screen to the side, and then we're going to reinstall the panels here in the instrument cluster and install a new piece here as well where the screen will be hooked onto. Now removing the old screen, we have uh, T10 torque bits here. We got four of them, so we're just going to undo those. And here we have it, pretty big difference. I mean, literally, between the sizes of the screens. And then we're pulling all the wires through the final piece that we're gonna install. And that's not how you do it. <laughs> that's how you do it. <laughs> Aren't you guys happy I messed up first so you don't have to? All 
All right guys, so we are done. The screen is finally on there and it looks phenomenal. Look at this thing compared to what it looked like before. Yeah. Let's start her up. Oh, <laughs> check that out. Now you can uh, change this starting screen to all kinds of stuff. I haven't messed around with that yet. This is just some stock photo. I think it looks really cool. So I kept it there. And yes, it is an Android. You don't have to have this popping up all the time. But we're just gonna go over the screen real quick. So here is the actual menu. Now everything with this screen is obviously pro Android, but even if you're an iPhone user like myself, you can just download Google Play Store and all that stuff and download apps and store them on your new infotainment system. It's awesome. Here's a little demo video, by the way. And here we have the app feature. I mean, I can go to Google. I mean, you basically have internet in your car. It's awesome. Navigation, I currently have that set to uh, Google Maps. You can also download Waze and have that on there. So, I mean, it's just, it's really, really cool. And this is an awesome feature. I currently have it on Sport. Check this out. You can change it to Eco Comfort. Oh, look at that. RPM gauge goes that away. That's cool. Sport is my favorite though. And I currently have it in kilometers per hour, which I'm fine with because I'm European. I have miles per hour here. So I'm just gonna keep kilometers per hour on there because I just think it's cool to have both. I also have the temperature in Celsius, which I'm used to from Sweden. So I'll keep that on there as well. Now, like I said, you can download apps on here. So basically you can have Netflix and all kinds of cool stuff. You can watch movies. Uh, in the car I mean for passengers of course but if you don't want to download those apps you can also do this you go to phone link I'm gonna pick iPhone Wi-Fi and then I'm gonna slide down on my phone and I'm gonna choose screen mirror and check this out I can mirror from my phone look at that <laughs> I have my latest YouTube video on in the car <laughs> it's just really really cool man i love this thing so basically i could technically be watching netflix from my phone and stream it on the screen <laughs> i mean th this system is just so badass and it's gonna take me a while to you know go through everything and get to know the system and of course everything works just like it did before if i put it in reverse you got the backup camera right there and if I still want to use the old system, I just click right there, and there it is. Just use the little turn knob there. Go listen to some radio if I want to. You have to be open to hearing those changes. I mean, it's so just right so cool. Now, the and of course, you can have music, sync your phone, do all that good stuff. Dashboard is coolest though. I love this feature right here. I mean, that's just awesome. <laughs> So I think that's it for today's video, guys. I mean, let me know what you guys think. And I, I wanna give a, a, a big thanks to Chris from CKM Car Design because, you know, I'm sure I edited this video so it looks like, you know, I did it pretty quickly. And like I said in the beginning, if I can do this, anyone can really do this because I'm not technical. I'm not a DIY person. I really am not. Removing all these panels and stuff like that, it's just not really hard. Pretty much half the interior of the car was taken apart. I got it back together and it's working just fine. So I want to give a, a thanks to Chris because he was on the phone with me all the time. He gives almost 24 hour uh, a day support over the phone. You know, the man has to sleep, of course, but uh, yeah, he, he really helps out if you need him. So uh, if you guys choose to use CKM for one of these units, you're definitely in good hands. I'm not just saying that. I'm, I'm not saying that because he's Swedish, um, but it really, it really is. And by the way, he speaks perfect English, so it's not like I picked him just because he speaks Swedish. <laughs> this screen, by the way, is available for tons of other car brands. It's not just Mercedes. It's, I mean, it's a huge improvement. It really is, especially for a 204. Now we have the steering wheel already, which is you know very modern looking. The rest of a 204 is kind of dated, but now we have the screen sits on there real good I mean it, it almost looks OEM it really does so I'm super duper happy with it 
Uh, check out CKM if you guys are interested. I'll leave a link for his website in the description below. And also, let me know what you think of the screen. Uh, it was by far the biggest DIY thing that I've ever done modification-wise by myself. Usually I just go see my buddy Brian and he helps me out with everything, but I, I just wanted to be able to do this on my own and, and I was able to do it, so <laughs> I feel good about that. But with that being said, I mean, this video is over. If you enjoyed it, give it a huge, huge thumbs up. If you're stopping by for the first time and you haven't already and you want to, please subscribe and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye-bye.